Hey everyone, Jonathan here with Fit Body Bootcamp and JonathanLearnerFitness.com. And if you've been reading those blog posts so far, uh, it, it floors me. Um, if you take a look at the at the picture, you know where it's got the graph of the current rates of different countries in terms of their obesity rates, and the projected along the bottom of from 2000 to 2020, and it shows kind of where we are currently at 2000 about 2010 2011, and they projected of what the obesity rates are going to be like at 2020. And it is crazy. I mean, the U.S., it says that by 2020, 75% of the U.S.'s population will be overweight or obese. I mean, that it's so scary, and it doesn't, like... <laughs> you know, I, I get passionate about it because it's it should not be that way. I mean, even Canada, we're currently sitting at around fifty percent, and you know, if we move that up to twenty twenty, that's and it's projected to be another five percent higher. That's given our population. That's one point seven million more people that are going to be overweight or obese by twenty twenty in Canada, and you know, it shouldn't be that way. It's it's absolutely crazy what's going on in our society, and in my nutrition seminars, if you come to them at all. You know, one of the big things that I talk about is this massive prevalence and growing rates of cancers, medical conditions, uh, diabetes, things like this, that are all coming up out of nowhere. Well, not really out of nowhere, but their, their rates are increasing at a rapid rate. And, you know, what is the biggest thing that has changed in the last 50 years in our society? And that biggest thing is what we eat, the food that we intake. You know, we've, our food industry has dramatically changed the food that we eat. They've changed the molecular structure of so many of the foods that we eat. And it just, we're not getting the nutrients that we used to anymore. Our, our farms and the nutrients that are going into the plants are from chemical fertilizers rather than real uh, nutrients from the ground, from manure, from uh, uh, broken down leaves and grass and things like that. Like, that's not in our farming practices anymore and we're losing so many of these nutrients and we're losing I mean the what we're trying to do in our society is I mean if you've heard the green revolution is the industrialization of agriculture and they so systemized it that there's very little natural stuff going on and now the way that they process food we're destroying all the nutrient content in anyways and our society is so fast-paced now and we're so on the go that all we do is go to convenience foods. All we do is go to the, toss it in the microwave and eat it. Away you go. Something that's fast, something that's super quick, and off you go. But as a result, we're getting very little nutritional value in our diets. We're not getting the nutrients that we need. And as a result, our bodies are fighting back. You know, all these foods are empty calories that have do nothing for us except add the weight on. And... You know, this is a huge, huge thing now because obviously we pay for healthcare. I mean, we're lucky in Canada, uh, absolutely. But, you know, the more and more obese we get, the harder and harder it's going to be. Because you think that there's long waits in hospitals now and that it's hard to go in and see the doctor and, and get treatments or get screenings or whatever it is. As those obesity prevalence rates increase, it's going to be even harder. The waits are going to be longer and it's going to be harder to see people. So that's really one of the big things that's absolutely crazy and it's just you know I, I ask you I mean most of us in Canada and at least if you're following this blog you're probably doing better things but what are you doing right now to ensure that you're not being part of that stat and you're potentially helping other people to not be part of that stat all right are you moving forward are you constantly taking a step forward on a daily basis to be able to move forward and improve your health and improve where you're at right you know, it's and it's not just for ourselves. Think about the people around you. Think about your family, your friends that that love you and that uh, want you to be around for a long time and want to enjoy your company, right? You, we're, you're so limited when when we're at that point where we are obese, right? There's not a whole lot we can do. You know, when you are fitter, when you are healthier, you are able to do so much more. You have more energy to be able to do the things you want to do, and you can enjoy life more. And let alone the health complications that you don't have to deal with too. Like it all adds up and you know, just what are you doing to be a role model for yourself and for the other people around you to continue a healthy lifestyle to no matter where you're at, 
even if you're not at a good starting point, to start, right? That's a, the biggest, one of the hardest parts for a lot of people is just to start. So this video is getting a little bit long, but you know, I wanted to share that with you because it's, it's just crazy where our projected rates are going and the speed at which they're going. I mean, you look at England and Australia on that graph too. I mean, they're, they're rapidly rising as well, just as fast as the U S and you know, it's scary, but, uh, not to be a downer today, but uh, you know it, we got to know, and and we're we're not given these things a lot of the time, and where they're almost hidden for us, and it's we got to understand what's going on in our society, and we're very lucky here in Canada that we don't see that, especially in Vancouver, um, but it's going on around the world, and you know how are we moving forward? Are we doing our part? Are you buying lots of that processed food that is very quick to make? Because the more we fund that system, the longer it's going to be around as well. All right, so. Just uh, some, some info for you. I hope you get some value out of that, and I hope it helps to open your eyes a little bit in terms of where our world's going. All right, so hope you have an awesome day. Enjoy uh, enjoy it, and uh, I will talk to you soon. Again, Jonathan with Jonathan Leonard Fitness and Vancouver Fit Body Boot Camp.